All right, this one's got some, uh, I think this might be the hardest question on this uh, problem set. Um, so we've got this uh, spring clamped on a, a set. So I've got like, you know, on a horizontal table, I've got a spring, right? And it's gonna launch a ball off of a table and it's gonna come and land at a certain point. And what do we know? Let's diagram it. Of course, we have 1.7 meters. That's the height of the table, right? Um, we know the mass of the ball is 24.3. Now watch that, that's in grams, so you're going to need to convert to kilograms at some point. And the ball travels 5.5 meters in the air. That's 5.5 meters. What is the spring constant? So let's think about the spring constant. So before, you've got um, spring potential energy, so it's going to be U spring, which is one half K X squared, plus he's got uh, potential energy, gravitational potential energy, which is M G H. That's the pot gravitational potential energy. Okay, and we need to figure out. Let me think this through. How did I do this? I want to set that equal to. The, I need to find the velocity. Right before he left, we're going to set that equal to the... I need to find what that speed is that he took off here. So if you know what V is, you can solve for the rest of these problems. Actually, I'm not sure you're going to need the MGH here. He does have potential energy, but that's going to give you... Because we want to find the speed right before he takes off. Of that so I don't actually need this MGH right here so then what you're gonna do is we have a little kinem kinematics problem we know this right here so if you recall we can do kinematics I can say I've got a V1Y and I've got a V1X this is what I want what is the velocity in the X direction this I'm gonna plug in here and I know that I know um, y1, y2, a, and t. So v1, y, it's zero because it's not moving in the y directions. y1 is 1.7 meters. y2 is zero meters. He's going to the ground, right? a is negative 9.8, and you can solve for time. So solve for time using kinematics equations. Then we're going to plug it into the v1, x equation. So this is what you're trying to find, v1x, and then we can say x1 is 0, because right, it starts at 0, x2 is 5.1, a is 0. Remember, in the x direction, there is no. So plug it into kinematics equations, and then you can find v1x. And when you plug it into v1x, that gives you the v1x right here, and then you can set it, so then you'll have 1 half kx squared equals 1 half m v1 x, if you will, squared. You're solving for, I believe it was, k, because you know x. It gave us the, it was compressed 22 centimeters. Watch that, that that's 22 centimeters. You have to convert to meters, and you can solve the problem.